Welcome to ETF Wrap, your weekly digest of the top stories in European ETFs. This week, we saw a rendition of a $30 billion active ETF arrive in Europe, courtesy of JP Morgan Asset Management. Elsewhere, ETF inflows have continued to trounce mutual funds in 2023. And finally, a week of regulatory question marks, with fund passporting and ESG in the spotlight. First up, ETF Stream revealed JP Morgan launched an active global equity income ETF to act as a buffer for investors in volatile markets. The product is designed to provide between 7 and 9% income per year, in addition to lower volatility than the MSCI World Index. The ETF is a global version of the US-focused income ETF listed in the States, which has achieved poster-child status with $30 billion of assets and $13 billion in inflows so far this year. With little over 100 active ETFs in Europe, housing a total of $30 billion combined, products such as this will be a true test of whether wrapped active can catch on this side of the pond. The segment has been a key area for product development this year, with actives comprising one-tenth of all ETF share class launches. Several new ETF entrants have also targeted actives over the past 18 months, including AXA, Fineco, Investlinks, Horizon Kinetics, and this week, Mainfast. Next, ETFs continue to gain ground on mutual funds, booking 180 billion euros of inflows so far this year in Europe. Refinitiv data showed ETFs booked $120 billion of inflows by the start of December. Meanwhile, index tracking mutual funds booked more modest inflows of 31 billion euros, and active funds suffered 91 billion euros of outflows. Aside from the active versus passive debate, these numbers show investors voting with their feet in favor of the ETF structure. ETFs have been a key tool for investors implementing the bonds are back trade, the fixed income ETFs comprising half of all ETF inflows by the end of Q3. The wrapper also continues to benefit from its low costs and the rise of retail investing through digital channels. And finally, a week of regulatory flux across a number of Europe's favorite policy acronyms. The UK's FCA launched a consultation on its upcoming overseas funds regime, which is set to be opened in April 2024 subject to the UK government granting equivalents to use its funds. Elsewhere, further overhaul is on the cards for the EU Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation, while there remains no clarity on whether the UK Sustainable Regulation will apply to overseas funds. The situation for both regulations creates a state of flux for ETF issuers and fund selectors alike. And that's a wrap for this week. Thanks, and join us again next week for our final summary of the year. Until then, take care.